hello guys welcome back to another episode so today we are going to prepare fried meat pie we have our all-purpose fry here we also have our veggies onion and garlic paste i have my nutmeg and sauce for taste margarine oil and mince meat so let's start Let's start by adding our ingredients into the food. Our paste. Not me. I left one thing. That's baking powder. Earlier on, I didn't add my baking powder. So this is our baking powder. Let's first mix. Because we are going to fry our meat fry, we don't need a lot of margarine. So I'm going to take two spoons of this one. Next, we have oil. Right? I want we are going to measure this. Okay, we are going to measure one out of this one. Mix it well, so mixing with my two hands. With the onion and garlic. If you don't like them. Just avoid them, don't add it to it. So I'm coming to add my dissolved salt water. Okay. I start with my molding. Okay. These are dissolved salt water. Let's buy it. Back. So I do it neatly for so you can see. It's time to wrap our dough. So I will divide it. Time to steam our meat. Earlier on, I showed you how to cook, how to blend meat. When I was preparing a uh, spring goose, so you can watch my previous video. You see how we prepare the meat, how we blend it. I have my onion, garlic, and ginger paste. My meat is almost. We have our corn flour. I took a tablespoon of corn flour and I mixed it with water. I don't need to do it. This one says option. If you don't like it, just if you don't like it, don't add it to it. 
Do you have a veggies issue here? And then add the corn to this side please. Let everything stick to it. So when you are doing the filling, it's easy to do. That's why they add corn to that so it's I'm done preparing my filling. It needs to cool down. So I'll wait for some time. And it's time for us to do our dough. Let's go and do our dough. I'm applying my black on top of my chocolate bowl. I'm done rolling my dough. As you can see, it is not rich because we are going to fry it. If we, are, if we add a lot of margarine, it is going to break. So this one is okay. And it's time for us to cut our sheep. Because I don't have the meat spy cutter, I'm going to use this one for my sheep. So let's start. I'm going to use my cutter. If you don't have the meat pie cutter, you can use any round object to cut it when you are done. Just take your pizza cutter, then you get the shape out of, out of it. You don't even have to wait until you get the meat pie cutter before. As you can see, the shape is well made. It's
I'm coming to fill my meat bag, but I'm measuring my spoon. Make sure you seal it well so that when it gets into the fire it doesn't open press it hard you can see how it is neatly sealed I'm done with my filling, so we have to create a hole on top of the pie so that it will cook more. You repeat it until you are done. As you can see, we are done with our meat pie. How crunchy it looks. It's very sweet, beautiful. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.